Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to enroll Apple devices. So these iOS devices, are enrollment process is completely different compared with uh, any other devices. So every every enrollment process is completely different. It's not same as other devices because of the every vendor is completely different uh, with respect to Apple devices or iOS devices you need to have one of the at least one uh, Apple ID or they call it as the iCloud or me.com or whatever the Apple ID so if you have the Apple ID well you can uh, log in into the uh, portal and then generate the required certificate file and that certificate file can be downloaded and re-imported into Intune so that you can manage the Apple devices. In our case, uh, if you don't have the Apple ID, you can create it with your company name because um, these settings are uh, applicable for the company name. So if I don't have, I just have to go to iCloud.com. Uh, I can and then uh, in the down you have the create Apple ID and fill that uh, application form or uh, for the sign up process like the first name last name and your email id phone number and date of birth confirm password secret questions all that can be uh, filled uh, but in my case in fact i have already have the apple id which i'm going to use my one of the test accounts so i'm just trying to um, i'm going to show you that how to use so i'll just uh, go to the apple uh, devices enrollment uh, page in the intune you can check out here uh, Apple um, enrollment options when you click on the Apple mobile device management push certificate in this you would be finding here first step as a first step you need to agree the license terms and then download CSR file so that CSR file is Intune CSR dot CSR file and that to be you need to upload and then based on that signature it's gonna generate for you an certificate so it's gonna asking me to enter my Apple ID and the secure password so I'm gonna enter that uh, user ID my Apple ID and the password as I said if you don't have you can create it earlier otherwise you can use this uh, your uh, personal ID in fact so in my case I just downloaded and as a first step you can see here uh, create uh, the certificate and then accept Apple push certificate portal agreement terms and users and post to that you can choose your uh, downloaded file from uh, Intune that's CSR file and that file you can show up and you can give the in, uh, in the notes you can give the required naming and post to that uh, it generates uh, when you submit it it generates the certificate and by default the certificate is valid for only one year in our case it's more than enough for the testing purpose but in the real world what would happen is post to the one year you need to pay for Apple in order to generate one more certificate from them that's how it works now I'm gonna download that certificate now once I downloaded that uh, I can I'll go back to my Intune portal and then I would be I need to enter here my Apple ID which I have just uh, generated the certificate by using whatever the Apple ID that has to be given and then upload the required certificates uh, the downloaded file is uh, MDM file MDM underscore Microsoft Corporation certificate dot PEM file so I'm just uploading that once you upload it you can see there you're getting as upload successful uh, that uh, concludes a uh, that should be concluded as how to configure uh, Apple MDM push certificate process and post to that you can also find if any of the devices are enrolled under devices uh, normally you would be getting out any of the devices if it is enrolled. 